To share your files, you're first going to have to know where they are. So to access your Zoom recordings, you're just going to have to go to your computer and then you're going to go to your documents. Within documents, there will be a Zoom folder and within that Zoom folder is where all your video recordings are going to be. So you can click on the folder. This is the most recent video recordings I did. If you don't know how to record your meetings on Zoom, make sure you watch my video on how to record on Zoom. So now that we know where all the files are, it's time to share them. So let's start by sharing them on YouTube. When sharing on YouTube, you just have to go to youtube.com and then you sign into your account. You're going to click on this create button here and it's going to give you the options of uploading a video or going live. So you're going to select upload a video and it's going to ask you to select your files. So you're going to select your files, go into your folder and upload your meeting. First thing YouTube's going to ask you is for a title, the description, your thumbnail, and any tags that you want to associate with it. So you can enter those. Then you can continue on to next. You can add any subtitles or end screens that you'd like. It's going to check for any copyright. And then when you go to share your video, you're going to have options. So here you can either share it privately. Privately means it's only on your account and only you can see it. You can share it unlisted. By sharing it unlisted, people can't regularly find it. The only way that they can view your video is if you share the link with them or if they get a link from somebody else. So anybody who has that link can access the video. And lastly, you can set it to public. By sharing it publicly, everybody can view it. So another way to share your videos is through Facebook. On Facebook, you can share it both publicly and privately. To share it publicly, you can share it onto your wall. So you can go to your feed and click on photo video, select the video, add a description and share it that way. Or you can share it privately through Messenger where you just click on someone's profile. You can add in a file share the zoom and then it's going to allow you to share it. So to share it you just have to press enter and it will send it to that person. And then next if you want to share it more privately you can email it to somebody. So on Google you have a couple options. You can either send it via your email so you go to your Gmail and then you can add it as an attachment. So compose a new message and then you just attach the file. When adding it as an attachment to an email, you have a size limit. So you can upload an attachment that's up to 25 megabytes. If your video file is long and bigger than that, then you're going to need to upload it to Google Drive. So to access Google Drive, you can just click on Drive and then you can upload it to either one of your folders, you can create a new folder and upload it that way or you can simply grab the file and then drag it over into your Google Drive and it will upload it that way. So that's a quick and easy way to upload it. If you don't want to send it through email or Google Drive or you just don't have Google, then you have a couple more options. Let's start with Dropbox. So Dropbox is similar to Google Drive, except it doesn't have an email server attached to it, so it's just like a file sharing program. You will have to create a profile within Dropbox, but once you do, then you can simply either click on the upload button or drag your files in there. So once again, this will give you the option of either uploading a file or a folder. So if I'm gonna go to a file, upload it and then add it to my Dropbox. Once it's in my Dropbox, I can click on the share button and share it with somebody's email. So send it to them personally, or I can have a link the same as an unlisted video on YouTube. The last way to share a file requires no accounts. So if you don't have Google 
Dropbox, YouTube, Facebook, you can still share a file. However, you can't share this publicly. You can only share it privately to select emails. So the program is called WeTransfer and it allows you to send a file up to two gigabytes big. You can either upload a file or a folder, same as Dropbox. You upload your file and then you enter the email address or addresses that you want to send the file to and then transfer. It will ask you to verify your email by sending you a code. You enter your code and the transfer will begin. The time it takes for the transfer depends on the size of the file. The bigger the file, the longer it'll take. And the difference between having this shared online within any of the other platforms versus WeTransfer is that it has an expiry date. So with this, it will only be available to the recipients for one week. So the files expire after one week. After that week period, they will no longer be able to download those files from your link. So if you want them to be able to download the video files for a while, you're not gonna wanna use WeTransfer. But if you need to get some video to somebody quickly, this is a great thing to use. So there you have it. I've shown you multiple options on how you can share your recorded Zoom meetings. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like or better yet, leave me a comment. I have new videos out every Wednesday. Until next time, 